pies ahead. <laughs> I mean, personally, I, I can't think of any unaccounted for loose ends or anyone who might be lurking in the shadows, thirsting for revenge. Can you? Okay. Oh! Okay. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Shit, 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 shit! No! Ice crown. Uh oh. A monument to our. Oh suffering. no! Oh no! The veil between life and death. Where a usurper sits on a frozen throne. But no king rules forever. Oh, shit. Fuck. Ha <laughs> ha, yes! Oh, fuck. Oh shit! Oh, wow. Oh, shit. Remorseless winner. This is a pretty badass fight scene, dude. You to wear this crown. Is this really gonna happen? Oh shit! Is this really going to happen? Power. That power will be your prison. This world is a prison. Do it. Oh. Oh, wow. What the fuck? That's not good. What the fuck? 
That is bad. And I will set us all free. Holy shit. Okay. Okay. Bro, what the fuck? What the fuck? It's confirmed. It is fucking confirmed. So now do the blue eyes make sense? Yeah. So yeah, that just happened. Uh... We were once told by King Terranus that there must always be a Lich King. Yeah. And now, for the first time, there is none. Sylvanas herself warned us that in the end, death claims us all. Okay. Well, death is coming for us. And if we want to stand a chance, we are going to have to go where no living soul ever has. We are going to the Shadowlands, the world that is the afterlife for the entire Warcraft universe. Now, along the way, we will get a chance to meet some of the fallen and learn their fates. But this is not a familiar world full of orcs and trolls and dwarves. This okay. is an ancient and mysterious realm that predates the Titans themselves. Oh, shit. It is the source of the power of the Scourge that we have seen, true. Oh, shit. And it's the power upon which Death Knights draw. Oh, but it's shit. it's also the origin of the noble Valkyr and the spirit healers that guide us back to the land of the living when we pull a couple more. Oh, shit. Not that you I gotta shave, that. dude. It's where spirits of nature go to begin a cycle of rest and rebirth. And so much more. Let's take a look at this wondrous world that we are set to explore. Okay. The Jailer of the Damned. A grim task, which I have failed. Now the Eternal Veil screams, torn asunder by her. Within the realm of shadow lies the darkest of terrors, which should never be set free. Oh. The Shadowlands are oh. infinite. Their terrors and beauty were never meant for mortal eyes. I wonder if they can bear to behold all that awaits them. That's cool. Oh, that's from the Dreadlords, I guess. Damn. The little gahoons there. The denizens of this realm are the key to restoring well, is this all the balance in the between life. And death, if their trust can be earned. Oh, whoa, what the fuck? That looks awesome. Holy shit. The Tower of the Damned. Oh, is that like just a. It's kind of like Mythic Plus where it just scales up? That's death. cool. Damn. Ah, Lee, dude. I'm excited. Yeah. So World of Warcraft Shadowlands is coming next year, and it will be available for pre-purchase today. Wow. That is just Already pre-purchased right now. I just did it. world that awaits us. Ahead of us lie many fateful decisions. Okay. Because at its core, Shadowlands is an expansion that is built around the idea 
of choice. Agency and self-expression in the rewards you produce. Like, what did you think of the cinematic? Honestly, dude, like, okay, as badass as that fight was, Yeah. how the fuck do you expect me to believe Sylvanas is capable of literally ripping the Lich King's helmet in fucking half? Come on. That's ridiculous. That, that, was, absolutely, that, was, ridiculous. that, that was absolutely ridiculous. It was badass. Okay, it was cool to see, because we all thought she was going to put it on, right? But come the fuck yeah. on, that was so over the top, dude. That was Just crazy. No yeah, I, I'm not a big fan of that either. I think that was a little bit silly to me. Uh, I mean, like, the whole idea with, like, oh, Sylvanas is like this... I, I don't know, it just seems, like, too powerful, you know what I mean? And it's like the Lich King. I mean, the Lich King is, like, the Jailer of the Dam, this, like, incredibly powerful fucking, like, undead god. And to, like, to lose to Sylvanas like that doesn't make any fucking sense, you know? Like, I, I don't know, I'm not... I, I, I don't know, I, I just feel like that's silly to me. It's a plot device? I don't know, man. Okay, let me see. So I, I sent him a message. Um, I don't know, That it's just so weird. You know? I mean, she straight ripped it off his head with, like, some shadowy magic power. Like, I don't know, dude. It, it was cool, but how the fuck, you know? Like, I don't think this is, like, some sort of feminism. You know, I don't think it's, like, a, a woman power kind of thing. I think it's just they've gone off the fucking rails with her character. Yeah, I, I agree with that, too. Uh, I think that's a little bit too much. Like, that seems like, yeah, it's like she's too powerful. It feels like, it feels stupid to me. Uh, yeah, I mean, she, she's too powerful. I don't want to, I, I don't want to get too into that too much. But I, I just, I think it's way too much, man. Um, SJW, I don't think, like, Sylvanas is not. Let me go ahead. I'm going to pause this right here. Uh, obviously, this one's over. I'm going to go ahead and refresh Wowhead. And I want to see, oh, wait, what the fuck? Let's talk. Let's get over. I want to look at this right now. What happened? So every level is meaningful. Shadowlands will introduce a new leveling system meant to provide a meaningful sense of advancement with every level achieved. Current max level characters will begin Shadowlands at level 50 and work towards the new level cap of 60. Wait. What about anybody below level cap? What? what ha like I don't know. They probably just cut their level in half or something. Do you hit? Wait, I I'm confused. So, so do you hit like... Well, I, I think that they probably just are scaling everything down. Like, everything is just being completely scaled down. <gasps> Dude! What if this is the return of talent points? I don't see why it wouldn't. If every level matters, that makes sense that you get a talent point every single level. I mean, how, how does that not make sense? I mean, of course. You get a talent point every level? I, I mean, fuck, or every other level? Who knows? I mean, this would be insane. So let, let's see here. Big Blizzard Bear. Okay, doesn't matter. Uh, Winter Deuce level switch that Blizzard's been talking about for a long time. On the pre-patch, players will be brought to level 50, leveling to 60 when the expansion begins. Expansion pre are now available. Um, Pandaren and uh, Allied Race Death Knights. That's amazing. Okay, here's the information here. Uh, choose your covenant. So let me, let me put on some music here while I'm talking about this. Holy fucking shit, man. I, I, still, I just can't believe that everything just kind of happened. Like, it's not even like, oh, some things happened, some things didn't. Like, everything just kind of happened. Holy fuck. Holy it's fuck. It's cutting off a little bit. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and move this around. Uh, this was set up just for the Twitch thing. I'll go ahead and, uh, and, and re... Uh, I'll turn on alerts, too. I'm a little... I'm a little unsure about the expansion, though, because, like, no class or race or... No mention of, like, new abilities or, uh, you know, like, anything like that. I'm a little... I mean, do they ever really announce new abilities this early, though? Yeah. I mean, like, I don't know. I feel like that's kind of unlikely. Uh... I mean, I don't know. I don't really feel like that happens a whole lot. Maybe I'm wrong about that, but it seems like it's kind of unlikely. Uh, no content? Well, no. Let me go ahead and I'm going to read the rest of this, Okay. Uh, brave the beyond. What lies beyond the world you know? The Shadowlands. Resting place for every mortal soul, virtuous or vile, that has ever lived. 
pre-purchase the next World of Warcraft expansion now and be ready to discover what awaits in the world between worlds. Uh, explore Azeroth's wildlife. Shadowlands are home to the entire universe of the departed. Journey through the hidden realms of wonders and horrors that await anyone who passes the other side. Choose your covenant. Align yourself with one of the Shadowlands' four covenants. Otherworldly shepherds of the dead. Each of their own ambitions, motives, and incredible powers to claim as your own. That's pretty cool. Storm the ethereal prison. Test your limits as you ascend Torghast, the Tower of the Damned, a highly replayable, ever-changing dungeon in the dark heart of the Maw, where the vilest souls are locked away forever. Holy shit. Wait, what? So I guess it's like, um... Uh, let me think of a way to... It's like, I, not really like Delve, but you know how like Delve just kind of... Actually, maybe not. I think that you just ascend higher and higher and higher. Uh, it's like, not really Mage Tower. I'm thinking of like, it's a rift from... Yeah, like a rift from D3. I think that's probably what it's going to be. Yeah, kind of like a rift from D3. I don't know, what okay. do you think about that? Uh... Could be could be interesting. I I kind of I kind of just wanted like a new class though. Yeah, I mean I I hope that they do announce a new uh, a new class. Yeah, I saw that they're uh, yeah like Violet Hold. Uh, not exactly, but sure they announce a new uh, level cap. Wait, what's this here? Um, new classes and new races in the gameplay cinematic. Yeah, actually that's a good point. Yeah, you know what? You're right. But they oh actually no yeah, we never got the level cap announcement about this. So maybe there's another cinematic that's gonna have this other information. Uh, we can remain hopeful, but, uh, you know, I can see why, you know, some people would be concerned. Yeah, I agree. Um, All right, this is the uh, the transmog set. That's pretty cool. That's cool. Yeah, that's, that's cool. All right, yeah, that, that's... Dude, you know what that video reminded me of? What? You know how Path of Exile sells like fucking transmog yeah, exactly. and shit, and yeah, you can like a weapon. A yeah, <laughs> it's like a little preview video from. Path oh wait, here's Exile. another one too. Okay, here we go. Oh wait, oh no, we already saw this. Right, yeah, we already saw this. Never mind. Okay. All right, yeah, the the cinematic, like as I said, the gameplay trailer, the Diablo. Th I just like I'm I'm mad about uh about what happened. With Bolvar and being the Lich King, you know? Yeah. I think... the fuck does that even mean he's not done melding and like he also doesn't die like that's the thing it's like he never actually dies at least i'm pretty sure he doesn't i mean i i, I don't know man i just i don't i'll be he does look badass though like, yeah he does this scene where she takes it off and like okay we have to be clear. It this is badass to watch. Yeah. But the logic of it makes no fucking sense. Yeah, it doesn't. You know mean, what I mean? Yeah, it doesn't mean either. Yeah, like I mean this is really fucking cool. But it's like there's no way she's gonna kill the Lich King. Show right? the part where she rips it. Okay. So you think she's going to put it on? Yeah. This part was good. That part was probably the that was the best part of the cinematic.
let us all free. Yeah, I don't know, man. It's just like... I, I just- I, I can't see somebody being able to beat the Lich King, dude. It's so stupid, man. He's level 80? No, he's not! That, what a bunch of bullshit, dude. So much. And this part was badass, too. Yeah, it's like, yeah, fucking right, dude. Yeah, fucking right, dude. I'm so annoyed by this. I really am. The more I watch this, the more annoyed I get. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is dumb as fuck, man. Like... What the fuck, man? Yeah, just the whole thing was dumb as fuck, man. Yeah, just like this stupid ass shit. Like, this is such bullshit, man. Such fucking bullshit. I I, I don't know. I'm not happy about it. Yeah, I'm not thrilled. I mean, the scene, I'm not the scene thrilled. was badass. Like, everything about this was badass, but... I, I, I don't know, it just seems ridiculous to me. Maybe I'm like, maybe I'm overreacting, but... I mean, how... how Did Frostmourne, like, fucking... How, how broken was Frostmourne to yeah. where that... To, to make it so that, he, like, the Lich King was way more powerful? I, I, I don't understand this. I don't know. I think Frostmourne made him very powerful, but it's not... I mean, he's still the Lich King, though. I mean, I don't know. I just felt like... The, I, I feel like being the Lich King is kind of a big deal. Like, maybe I'm wrong about that, but... To me, I feel like it's a big deal. <sighs> what is this here? Uh, for Dragon's Nord, they're the level of Arthas. I mean, a jail of them doesn't mean his powers are on par with the ones as Arthas. Yeah, but he's still what she used to be for some reason. That's the thing. Is like there's no, there's no like logic behind this. At least like in, in my mind, right? Sylvanas so is just randomly like extremely OP. Uh, it, it's he's only level eighty. Shut the fuck up. I've heard that forty times. Okay, guys. Uh, I get it. So, I don't know. Are you pissed or not? Like, how do you feel? What do you feel like? like? Uh, I mean, how do I really feel? Like, it's not. So, here's where Go we're ahead. at with WoW, okay? Go ahead. Lich King. Cucked. Yeah. No new class. No new race revamped leveling system which we have no details about yet yeah uh no uh 
no new class abilities that have been seen or talked about yet. Uh, and Shadowlands, which I don't know. How, how do you feel about Shadowlands? Uh, she's currently empowered by the Titan of Death. If you watch the feature trailer, yeah, I saw that, and, and so that's basically how it's supposed to work. Is like there's like a, a Titan of Death that's basically empowering Sylvanas, which I, I don't know how that makes a lot of sense either, personally. Lich King, yeah, he's the bitch king, man. What the fuck? Um, what is it about Scourge? It's not really about Scourge hardly at all, honestly. I, I don't feel like it is. Uh, troll culture? I don't know, man. She's, she's subjugated to SJW. I don't know. I, listen, anyway, let's go ahead and move on from that. I mean, like, we can talk about the cinematic all day long. But uh, overall, like, so this is the, uh, the feature trailer is this guy right here. This is the one that she was t that you guys were talking about. Let's watch about. the feature trailer again. Okay, all right. We'll watch that and we'll take a look at it again. Give me a second. Let me go ahead and pause and uh, take a look at this. Okay, here we go. The Jailer of the Damned. A grim Smash task. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's your $10. Appreciate that, man. Which I have failed. Shit. Sure. Now the eternal veil screams, torn asunder by her. Within the realm of shadow mm -hmm. lies the darkest of terrors. Shit. Sure. Which should never be set free. That's the guy right there. The Shadowlands are infinite. Their terrors and beauty. We're never meant for more does look lives. really cool. I, I mean, to be fair, this this place does look really fucking cool. All that awaits them. You've got the actual vampires and shit. I guess that's cool. Yeah, I mean, this is cool. Like, I mean, the denizens of this realm yeah. are the key to restoring the balance. This is the covenants. It's like the talents and, and everything you can get, the abilities. If their trust can be earned. Okay. I'm really curious to see what this is going to be like. That's one of the main things. Uh, I really want to see what this is going to be. Death comes. And the end of everything is just the beginning. See, that's the main thing that I'm curious about is that that guy in the end of it, man. Like, he's supposed to be like a super bad guy. Like, we'll, this. we'll watch this again. Lies the darkest of terrors. Which there should is. never be set free. So that's what I'm curious about is like, who the fuck is this guy? Is this guy like. I don't and know, how is he more powerful than Nazoth? I don't know. I, I mean, I feel like they're kind of adding in like a set, uh, like another level of. It's, it's death, the god of death. Ugh. I don't know, it seems like a lot, man, don't you think? Like the god of death? Maybe I'm god? wrong about that? It seems like, yeah, the god of well, death? Well, hold on. It, it, th didn't he say that it came from... The Shadowlands came from a time before the Titans? Yeah, yeah, some something like, like that? that, yeah. So, does that... I mean, that kind of lines up with that fucking... That thing, right? That, uh... Where you have, like, both sides of the thing, and then it's, like, on one side it's, like, light, and then dark, and then... You, you, we oh, at, like, oh, the, uh, let me go pull that up again. Uh, the Warcraft, uh, Celestial, uh, chart. Uh, is that it? Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, yeah this yeah. one here. Uh, okay, so we'll view this image. So which one is it? So it's undead, is it? So it's, it's this guy right here, Death, on the side? I'm assuming that's kind of what it is. I'm not... So Death... Is yeah. further out on the on the 
plane or whatever yeah. than the Titans. You well, see that? It, it feels to me like the ones in the middle here are the avatars of like Shadow, right? So like Shadow, Shadow, avatars of Shadow are the old gods. The avatars of the Order are the Titans. The avatars of Death are the undead. So I don't know where he's not going to be up there. Does that mean there are gods of like order and life and disorder? Yeah, and shit, I mean, I'm what? assuming that's kind of like a loon and stuff, right? And uh, I, I don't know. What is this here? He's an imprisoned Void Lord. Look at the shoulders and the body shape and compare it to a Void Walker. So you think it's a Void Lord? Uh, I did kind of notice that. Go back to it. Okay, yeah, yeah, sure. Just give me a second. I'll pull it up again. Okay. This guy here. Maybe a little? Yeah. I mean... Mm, like, it has, like, a better a better image of him right there, right? Okay. So he clearly has arms. Yeah. Pause it. Okay. I don't know. What what do you think, chat? I mean Yeah, I'm kinda curious what uh what, what everybody's impressions are on this. I, I feel like maybe this guy is like I don't know. Actually I, I yeah, I have no idea. I, I really have no fucking idea. Is he like maybe the source of the like uh, of undead? Oh what if this is the guy yeah. that told Vol'jin to put Sylvanas in charge. I mean, he must have been. Like, I mean, that, that's the only thing that would have made sense, is that must have been him. Yeah, I mean, that, that's got to be it. I, I don't know, man. Like, besides that, I can't really imagine it be anything else. I don't know, man. Like, what, what, if, what else could it be? That's the big question, right? It's like, yeah... This sounds cool, but like, what else could it even possibly be if it's not that? Um, uh, I don't know what the hell that is, man. Uh, it's Sauron? Well, I think that this is more like, it's not Sauron. I would say this is Sauron, and this is Melkor, right? If anything. Uh, that's what would make sense to me. Or Morgoth, or whatever. Uh, I, I think that would be the difference between the two, uh, in terms of like, power. But I don't think that like, the Lich King derives power from this, this person here. Maybe not, but it's hard to say. It's like Odin? There's no way it's Kel'Thuzad. There's no way they're bringing back Kel'Thuzad again, okay? I don't want to even fucking hear that. Please stop with the Kel'Thuzad is coming back. So, uh, o overall, I mean, like, l let's, see what the pe let's see what the comments are. This would be a perfect expansion to, uh, to release Necromancers. I agree. That would be fucking amazing. Who is, the dar who is this darkness, anyway? Oh. They're not going to. The, guys, yeah. If they were going to announce a class or race, they would have in the fucking features. Yeah, yeah. It's not happening. Give it up, dude. Like, holy yeah, shit. Yeah, I, I don't think that it's gonna happen. I mean, like, they might add it later on. Blizzard just scrapped the whole idea of there must always be a Lich King. Nice. Maybe they'll put it together in the end. I'm just as one as you, man. Yeah, I, I don't know, man. Uh, Uti Missoula, or simply uh, Missoula, or even Death, is lower of Death worship by the Sand Fury tribe. Although his shadow towers above everyone, Missoula's figure is indistinct. Well, it's pretty distinct here. Uh, his frame looks like an undead. Maybe he's the first undead. Yeah, I, I feel like this is this could be like the progenitor of the undead. Like this, this guy is the source of all undead. Ooh, that's good. That's the I only. It was the Lich King. No, because there were undead before the Lich King, right? Were there undead before the Lich King? I thought there were. Wait, I thought the fucking crown of the Lich King was a fucking burning legion. Yeah, it was created item, by KJ. They created. Yeah, I thought like right? Kil I thought Kill Jaden made it. I'm pretty sure. So how the fuck does that tie into this shit? I uh, see. I don't fucking know, and that's what I'm curious about. Is like how does how can both of these two things make sense simultaneously? Uh, was Bolvar the target? Well, because Bolvar held the crown, the crown of uh of domination. Basically, it makes you the Lich King, I think, and then it's like the the it's like the key between the two realms. Uh, yeah, that's what I think it is. Lore is falling apart. I don't think the lore is really falling apart as much as it is. It's completely fucking falling apart. They've got they're off the rails with this shit. We just saw Sylvanas rip apart the fucking Helm of Dominion. It's fucking over. This shit is 
It's just toast. I, th I, I guess the only way that I can explain this, right. right? My best guess of what this is, is that this guy is the original undead. The first undead of all time. In, like, the history of, of like, Azeroth and, like, the world. He is the original, like, progenitor or the first undead. And, yeah, but the original Lich King? No, Ner'zhul was the original Lich King. This is something that's, like, beyond the Lich King. This guy, basically, the Lich King controls what this guy creates, I guess, if that makes sense. I don't know. But, if that's, okay, then why is he fucking chained down? Well, because that's I mean, why... He's got chains. Go ahead. I mean, no, I was, I was finished, basically, but... He's got fucking chains on him. Like, is somebody controlling him? Is he, like... I don't understand. I, he mu They must be. That's the only thing that would make sense to me, is they, they... It must be that they are controlling him. And maybe he's a Void Lord? Maybe he is. Uh, it's hard to say. The world is his prison. Kind of looks like the Ice Crown? Yeah, well, it looks like the Crown of Eternal Winter. It's like the Stormount Crown. That's what I'm kind of confused about there. Um, wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, hold on a second. Wait, you're on to something, dude. What? It does look like that. Yeah, I, I mean, I think that's that must be kind of what it is. But the Crown of Eternal Winter, I feel like that's not really... I, I don't know, maybe, maybe I am. I'm just thinking uh, yeah, about it. Go ahead. Eternal Winter, right? Yeah. And then the new Transmog set is called the Eternal Traveler. Ooh. Ooh. And he's got blue eyes. Ooh, blue eyes. That's very, uh, very questionable, isn't it? Okay. Uh, wow. Uh, no new talent trees. People are live streaming Shadowlands right now. Uh, Shadowlands is being consumed by the Void. Uh, he is the Void Lord. He doesn't look like a Void Lord. Maybe he is, but I, I don't know. Like, I mean, there's a lot of purple shit going on here. So, like, yeah, maybe he is a Void Lord. It's hard to say. I, I guess, like, yeah, the only way that I can I, I can describe it is he's probably, like, the first undead. That's my best guess. Everything else besides that, I can't really say. It's Arthas? It's not Arthas. There's no way it's Arthas. The first Lich King? Ner'zhul was the first Lich King. Uh, had nothing. Uh, check Mazul on, on Wowhead. I don't think that's what it is. I feel like this is something that he's... I, I feel like this character is something that's not in the lore at all. Like, it, because it's before the Titans. And all of the stories and everything in the game exists within the context of the Titans creating the world. So there's nothing that occurs in the story outside of the Titans creating the world. And because of that, I can't imagine that there would be any story or any mention of this character. Right? I mean, you guys see what I'm saying? So I don't, I don't think that there's any, any explanation for it that's in-game. Uh, basically, that's what I'm saying. Is I don't think there's any in-game explanation for this at all. I'm just trying to think how the fuck is this going to make any sense at all, though. Uh, Shadowlands are the Voidlands. What is this here? Uh, are the Voidlands realm? Void Wards cannot enter the, the Titans realm. Oh, man, dude, this is... Oh, I, I'm thinking about it. It's Grave Ward Nido, the creator of the Titans. Oh, that's too many turtles, man. Yeah, that, that's too many turtles all the way down. Like, I, I, I don't... I don't know if that's gonna make sense. Like, the creator of the Titans. This guy created the Titans. I feel oh, like, yeah, oh, yeah that'd God, be a little bit much, dude. don't you think? This is kind of bullshit, man. Like, two people have been fucking thrown to the curb in order to, you know, fucking beef up Sylvanas. Sylvanas and Lich King now. Or, I mean, uh... Bulvar. Sourfang and Lich King, yeah. Well, he's not, Bulvar's not even dead, though. That's what I'm curious. I know, but, I mean, he's basically dead. What is he without the fucking helm? That's true. He's nobody. He's a yeah. fucking... Burnt up marshmallow. You know? Maybe it's the definition of being damned. The helm was created by the Legion, had the power to control death, and the spirit of Nazul uh, uh, fused with it. So maybe this guy is the damned, that the Lich King was the jailer of the damned. 
So the Lich King is basically like the reason you need the Lich King is to keep this guy under control. And so destroying the helmet allows her to be able to release this guy. I, I don't know. Like that seems pretty big. Will the level squish affect running old raids? I don't know. Uh, can I get unbanned? I message a mod. Uh, call this out. Ah, do not rejoice. Your victory is a hollow one for I shall return with power beyond your imagining. That's right. Yeah, man, it's not dude that's vain just means that he has blood. He can't be void. He can't be undead. Well, it doesn't mean that his veins are working. I don't know. I feel like they probably just have it like that as him. Uh, do undead have veins? Because they're basically corpses anyway. So maybe he, maybe, maybe he's like an undead titan. Wait, no, no, that doesn't make sense either because it said he was before the titans. I, I'm thinking how this can make any fucking sense. How this can make any fucking sense. Okay. That's the Loa, wild secret Loa of death. I don't feel like these are Loas, though. Like, these are not Loas in any... Like, this... I, I don't think this is a Loa, man. Like, seriously, I, I don't. Um... This is pretty crazy. I'll say that for Oh, sure. God. Reddit is pissed about this. They're saying what? it's shitty writing. Well, what, what's shitty about it? Like, what are they saying to shitty? They're mad. Well, yeah, they well, they basically gave Sylvanas plot armor, and they're like, okay, well, she can never, you know, lose to anybody, basically. And I, I can see, yeah, people would be annoyed by that. Yeah, 100 fucking percent. It makes sense that they'd be annoyed. Like, I, I, I'm kind of annoyed, too. Diablo panel. Wait, Diablo 4 is a shared open world with world bosses. Wait, what the fuck? Really? Holy shit. Death God imprisoned by the Void Lords. He recruited Sylvanas. What is this here? He's a Death God imprisoned by the Void Lords. He recruited Sylvanas to free him and make the undead rule. He is he is to death what Void Lords are to Void and Shadow. They are enemies. Sylvanas wanted to turn all Azeroth undead to fight the Void. Look at Missoula, he's referred to as the god of death. I think it's a void ward and I listen not just. Look at Leoric, uh, Leoric Heroes of Storm, a Tim. Uh, the guy has the same helmet as the knight people with the black armor earlier in the trailer. Probably looks like that as well. Probably something like the Artorias dude from Dark Souls. Let me see, the guy with the armor. Um... Oh, like this. That's kind of true. Yeah, that that's pretty similar, actually. Hmm. Yeah, it, it's not exactly the same, obviously, but it's similar. Panda Death Knights! Panda... wait, Panda Death Knights? Panda Death Knights? Panda Death, Death Knights. Knights? Oh, God. Should... I don't know if I should pre-order this anymore.